Welcome back to the channel everybody. So today I'm gonna be removing my steering wheel on the 350Z. Um, when I bought it, the buttons on the steering wheel were broken, kind of all floppy and loose. Um, let me show you that here. So these here are just all floppy and broken. So I went, my, I went and got myself a spare steering wheel. Um, so I'm gonna be pulling this one off today and replacing the buttons. I'm not sure what's exactly broken in here, but something obviously is. And I don't necessarily care about the volume buttons because I have an aftermarket head unit and I doubt that it's wired in properly. But I definitely wanna use the cruise control. I like using cruise control on the highway. It's really nice and since the car has it, I wanna be able to use it. When working with anything that um, includes electrical components and things that are plugged in, uh, especially airbags. When you're pulling this off, you don't want this going off in your face. Um, and they can be pretty touchy sometimes. So always make sure that you disconnect your battery to start anything like this off. Um, most things when you're working on a car, you just want to disconnect the battery regardless because uh, rather be safe than sorry and you don't want to mess anything up. So I already went ahead and disconnected the battery. Um, and then the first steps are right here. There's these little uh, covers over so two screw holes back here and back here so uh, we're gonna pop those off and then I believe they are a torque star bit um, on the inside of these so let me pop those off and then we'll get pulling those screws out okay so I'm just gonna use a tiny flathead bit here uh, to pop these covers off fell down somewhere. Yeah, I'll get it after. Okay, so these are the little covers. They just, they cover the bolt holes. Okay, so then what you're left with is a torque um, bolt in there. Uh, it's a star pattern, but it's not just a regular star pattern. It has a little center extrusion in it. So basically your star pattern has to be hollow in the center to get these. Um, these are super, super fragile and soft. Uh, so you have to be really careful not to strip these um, or bend that center piece because if you bend it even slightly, then you're not gonna be able to get your bit back in there again. Um, so you wanna make sure you're really careful with these, make sure you're straight on and get a nice good turn on them. Okay, so the biggest size that I have in this kit is a T27, um, and it fits pretty good, so we're gonna go with that and try to get this out here. Okay, so now that that is out of there, um, you're just gonna do the same thing to the opposite side of the steering wheel over here. Okay, so now I have both bolts out that were in there. Airbag should just come right out now, like so. Um, so you have two plugs on the back here that we're gonna have to be really careful popping off. They're really specific plugs here, so um, we're gonna have to be gentle. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it exactly. Okay, so I went ahead and popped this orange one off first. Basically what I did was I just took this little flathead here on the end of a screwdriver and put it underneath this front edge of the black plastic piece here and really gently, because it's really thin plastic, pried it upward and as you can see on the plug here, it just slightly lifts it up and allows these clips to come free. So now we're going to do the same thing on the yellow piece here. Okay, so I've got the edge of the screwdriver underneath the plastic here and just really gently lift it off and it should pop straight out. Now this airbag is going to fall on my lap here because I'm trying to do this one handed. Okay so both of those are unplugged and just be extra careful with this because like I said you don't want it to go off those are free. Um, up next you have you have a ground right here um, as well as the wiring harness here 
for the um, all the buttons and a ground here. So you have to unplug the ground, which should pull just straight out, and then undo this, which there's a clip on this bottom side over here to the left. And then we have two uh, big torque bolts here, a uh, star pattern that we have to take out. Yeah, you have to do all this just to get these panels off. It's kind of crazy, but what are you going to do? Okay, so I undid the ground by just pulling it straight down off of the little tab there. And then I undid this clip here. Light back on. Okay, so I undid this clip here just by undoing that clip on this side with the flathead. I just stuck it in there and pushed it in and pulled it straight out. So now that's free. So now we can go ahead and undo the two bigger bolts here and here. Okay, so for these, I'm gonna use a T30 size star bit um, to get these off and a screwdriver. So I'm just gonna break these free and then we'll pull the steering wheel off. Okay, now that I got those two bolts out, uh, the very last thing I believe is this big bolt here. Um, so that way then we can pull the steering wheel off. So that's gonna be a 19 millimeter. You just wanna gently pull the steering wheel out and then run the two airbag cables out the bottom and now your steering wheel is free and that's what you're left with. So now let's take this inside and take the rest of it apart so that way we can get to these panels here. Okay, so we're back inside. Here's the steering wheel that I just pulled out and I bought a used steering wheel um, online that I already went ahead and took apart. I was originally just gonna swap the two straight up, but this one here is kind of pretty worn on the leather down here and the airbag itself is um, got some scratches and stuff, but not actually, not really. There's a couple little marks right there, but nothing nothing really bad on that. Um, but mostly just the, the leather on the steering wheel here is kind of dinged up and mine is pretty perfect. So I'm gonna keep everything from this one um, and literally just swap the button panels out and put the new ones back in. Okay, so these screws here are just your standard Phillips head. They should come out really easy. And then, I think if I remember correctly, this should just come right off. I have to turn it over and see if I'm missing any screws. Okay, so one thing for sure, this little wiring plug harness thing right here is tucked up inside of this clip here, which was preventing this piece from coming out. So just literally pull the wires out from in there and then this piece can come out. Um, there are springs on the bottom of this. So make sure when you pull it out, you get both the springs. So those just clip in there like that. So we'll set that aside over there. And then, oh, yep. Okay, so it looks like there's one more screw here that's holding this black piece on. So we'll go ahead and undo that. Okay, now that that screw is undone, should come freely out. Um, so then you're left with this black plastic piece, which we can move. And then after all that, you gain access to the screws. You can also, all these uh, silver silver screws that are coming out of the black plastic and then out of the back of these are all identical. So I'm just keeping those all grouped together um, and then other things separate so I know which screws go back where. Um, you should always try and do that so that way you know where things go back or at least keep things separate so you don't put the wrong screw back in together. This seems like a lot um, and it is a lot to get to these panels, but um, it's really not that bad. It's pretty easy and yeah, you can definitely use this video and just follow the steps. So now that those are free, okay, we can take the wheel separate and 
these here. These are held in by four clips, which we should just be able to pop out using a flathead. But once you get half of this piece out, then you can get the whole thing out. Um, don't worry about this. This is all just, this goes together really easy. It's just a sandwich. So you have the plastic piece here, then the control board fits in there, and this silicone cover fits over that. So, okay, and before even touching this one, these two clips on this one are already broken. So, pull that off. And yep, again, this one's missing all of those little plastic things, causing these to be free and rattly. So, let me show you, I'll show you what these little plastic things that I'm talking about are from the new, new thing that I got. Okay, so if you see in here these yellow things, all they are is when you, when you flip it, I don't know if you can see those things moving, but when you fl flip the switches, those move up and down and press the buttons on the board here. Um, and when it's all sandwiched together, it provides resistance, like you actually have to push on this to make it go. Um, and then if I if I dump these out, they're literally these little tiny plastic uh, cylinders with a head on them that go into these holes in here. So, yeah, they're all missing out of the wheel, the steering wheel that came in the car when I bought it. Okay, so while I have these off, I'm going to go ahead and wrap them in carbon fiber. Enough on that side. And enough on that side. Okay, so I've stuck down the face. Okay, so we got it all wrapped after tucking up all the corners around the edge. Um, I'm not too worried about the corners being super clean because they get tucked under the edge of the leather on the steering wheel. Um, obviously I tried to do it as best as I can, but I got some pieces that aren't quite sticking the best. Um, but like I said, I'm not too worried about it because the it being pressed up against the leather of the steering wheel should hold it all into place. But now we got to make some cuts to get these um, the buttons through. So <clears throat> from the back side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an X into each one of these holes. like that and then all four flaps you're just going to tuck in to the inside and then what you get is a nice smooth um, buttonhole and so that way it's not like cut on the edge to the hole so you don't get to see any of the silver so that's how you should do it just tuck the flaps up on up in on the inside okay so now i'm just gonna speed this up and do the other two So there's the 
final product. Now we'll put the buttons all back in and okay. And there you have it with the buttons back in place. Okay. <clears throat> so after a little bit of time, here it is. I think they look sweet. Now let's get them back in the steering wheel and see how they look with the wheel. Okay, so now we're gonna basically put everything back together in reverse order. So I have the buttons on the right side of the steering wheel here and I just started the screws. So we're gonna get these tightened down. Don't go too tight. As you know, these are going into plastic pieces, so don't wanna overdo them. That screw that goes right there. Don't forget about that one. And then this piece is going to go back in, springs down. They go right into those. They have like little things that catch the springs there. Make sure the wires are out of the way. Okay, once you get that back in place, make sure you tuck the wires into the little clip here. It's there, so you might as well use it. I'm gonna go ahead and just plug this ground back in. Okay, so that's in. Then... It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Okay, so I made a mistake here. I did these wrong. So, when I took this wheel apart, I thought that the top screws of these were were missing but in actuality I had already taken them out because it's this here that goes into the top hole there so when I just put it all back together I realized that the screw head was underneath this hole so gotta undo the top ones here okay so now once you put this back on then you put these screws in there and there okay so now we're back to where we were I put that screw in the center here the two from the outside and then this metal piece slides straight in with the two springs right here I already showed you that but I just want to recap and then tuck that in there um, now I have to take it back out to the car okay so I got the wheel back in the car basically I just lined up the little notch here slid it on there's a little plastic piece that fits in the hole here so you know it's lined up right. Uh, made sure that the plug was coming through right there. Um, so now that that's on, I am going to go ahead and tighten this. Okay, so I went ahead and plugged this back in. I already had this plugged into the ground here. I tightened both of these torque screws down and then this center bolt what I just use for a trick because when you're trying to tighten it the wheel wants to turn right but the car is off and the battery is still disconnected so I just turned it until the wheel turned until it locks so there's a factory stop where it locks in place if you're turning the wheel when the car is off um, so yeah I just went till that point and then used that as my stopping point so that way I could crank this down pretty tight so now I'm going to go ahead and plug the airbag back on. Um, these plugs go straight in and then the little black caps slide down, just like the reverse order of what we did to take them off. Okay, I clipped those clips back on and then I just slid this back on. And you know it's all the way in when your hole lines up. So I'm going to go ahead and put the torque screws back in over here. And then 
this one's gonna be a pain since the wheel is locked. Turned now. Okay, now that those are tight, I'm gonna go ahead and put these uh, put these covers back on. They just snap into place. And same thing with the one under here. Okay, so now the wheel is all back together. And I have no screws left over, so that must mean that I put everything back in. All right, so that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope this helps some of you out. Um, and for those of you who don't have a 350Z, I hope that this uh, possibly inspired you to do these kinds of installs and fixes on your own car. Um, it's really not that hard to do. And uh, if you just do some research, get the right parts, and then just go for it yourself, um, it usually will turn out pretty good and it'll save you a lot of money from taking your car to the shop. Um, and although there might be some issues, um, you just got to kind of push through it and keep going and uh, just figure out whatever solution you need to figure out as problems arise. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you all have an awesome day. Thanks, guys.